Time now for our Nebula Beard and Arsenal Legal Difference segment. With me on the phone, Wes Graylap, as we continue to discuss car insurance. Should be an interesting topic for a lot of people out there. So, Wes, good to have you on the phone again. Yes, sir, Mark. It's great to hear your voice and to be able to speak to all of the members of our community in central Louisiana. Uh, yeah, car insurance is one of those things that the law requires that you exactly. carry. And uh, the minimum amount of insurance coverage that you have to carry is uh, what we call a 1530, mm -hmm. uh, which means that you have up to $15,000 in insurance to pay for another person's injury mm -hmm. and $30,000 to pay for uh, injuries that you caused no matter how many folks were injured uh, or to what degree their injuries were. And then, of course, uh, there's a property damage aspect so that you can have insurance to pay for damage to another person's car yeah. should you be at fault for the accident. And that amount is $25,000. And the, the law in the state of Louisiana requires that you carry that. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that, that doesn't answer the question. The question is, how much insurance coverage should I have? How much should I carry? Yeah. And that depends on your ability to uh, to pay the premium. To be mm -hmm. honest, okay. yeah, if you have if you have means, if mm -hmm. you have assets, then you can get coverage in higher amounts. Uh, a lot of folks and a lot of commercial entities will carry well over a million dollars in insurance mm -hmm. coverage uh, to protect the assets that they have. Yeah, and, right. you know. That tends to skew with age. The older you get, the more you acquire and mm -hmm. the more insurance you need. That's that's a good point. And, uh, uh, Wes, what is umbrella coverage? What does that mean? Well, umbrella coverage is a form of coverage that combines with your homeowner's insurance. Uh, and what that means is, is that when you buy car insurance, that means that any accident that you cause is covered by your car insurance. Mm -hmm. When you have homeowner's insurance, you also have liability insurance for accidents that you cause outside of the car. When you have an umbrella policy, that means that your liability coverage for your home and your liability coverage on your car are combined such that you come under the umbrella of the coverage of both, mm -hmm. and that's usually where you see people have a hundred thousand dollars in coverage, and then they get a two hundred fifty thousand dollar umbrella, and mostly that's to protect your assets. And so some people may have their home paid for, mm -hmm. or may not, you know, uh, may have money in the bank, or they may have a good job, and they can't afford to pay uh, for damages, so they get significant insurance, which uh, covers mm -hmm. the damages that they may accidentally cause. And how do you qualify for the umbrella coverage, Wes? Uh, you qualify for it by paying the premium. You know, mm. when you sit down with your insurance agent, you have to have that discussion about what your assets are and how you want to protect yourself. And quite frankly, you know, it's so much akin to what we're seeing today that you have to take responsibility for putting yourself out on the highway uh, and possibly causing injuries to another, uh, you want to be able to buy insurance to make sure that if somebody is seriously hurt at your fault, uh, that their hospital bills are paid, that their lost wages are paid, yeah. and that it doesn't come out of your pocket. Right. So the more insurance coverage that you can carry, the better off you are. And can, yeah, when you're, when you're involved in a serious accident, um, should what are the pros and cons about getting umbrella coverage, Wes? Well, the, the pros are, I can tell you that uh, when someone is injured in a car accident and they have to go to the hospital and they go by ambulance, you know, your average ambulance bill is around $1,750 wow. to, to go from the accident scene to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And then your average emergency room visit where you go in, you check out, maybe you have an x-ray and you're fine, is in the five to $6,000 range minimum. Mm -hmm. And so when you start looking at the possibility of someone being significantly injured and having to have uh, an extended hospital stay, which could cost thousands of dollars yep. a day, uh, you know, the best thing to do is to carry 
as much insurance as you can so that you're not held personally responsible for the bills and damages that you cause someone else. And uh, how, how do it, does one file an insurance claim? That's something pretty basic. Seems basic, yeah. uh, but it can be complicated. You know, the uh, one way, of course, to file an insurance claim is to contact an attorney. That's mm -hmm. what we do here at Devlin Beard and Arsenal. Right. Uh, but you can also contact your agent, and then your agent will put you in touch with the National Claim Center for the insurance company. Uh, and more and more, I find that it is extremely difficult to actually speak to a human being with an insurance company. Uh, you know, it's uh, email, it's voicemail, it's text, and you really, when you're hurt in an accident, you want to get somebody on the phone, you want to be confident that your damages are going to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. And that's the role that lawyers like us here at Neblet Beer and Arsenault play for people. Uh, insurance companies are not out to trick you. Uh, but at the same time, it's their job to pay you as little as possible. Uh, all right, Wes, we'll continue this discussion uh, next week. Uh, quickly, the best way to get in touch with you at uh, Nebula Beard and Arsenal if they have, you know, questions on car insurance. Uh, please give us a call, 561-2500. Got it. Enjoyed it, Wes. Thanks for joining us once again. Thank you, sir. All right. We have more to come. Stick around on this Thursday.